Hello everyone, welcome, welcome to Lakshya. In this video, we are going to discuss the RTP for Jan 26 attempt. So what is the first MCQ? Which of the following refers to the study of economic behavior of individual decision making units, such as individual consumers, resource owners and business firms in a free enterprise system. So here the question they are specifically talking about what individual decision making units. So if you remember chapter number one, there are two types of economic systems. One is called as micro, the other thing is called as what macro. Sir, what is the difference between microeconomics and macroeconomics? Micro talks about individual units. Micro talks about individual units. Whereas macro, it talks about what economy as a whole or it will talk about aggregate units. So in the given question, they are talking about what individual decision making units. So what is the correct answer? Microeconomics. If you refer the key given below, the key states that Option A is the correct answer, but no, there is a key mistake. What is the correct answer? Option B, that is microeconomics. Second one, study of total or aggregate level economy viewed as a whole. Just now I said to you, when we are talking about economy as a whole or when we are talking about aggregate units, in such situation, we are referring which economics, microeconomics or macroeconomics. The answer is what? macroeconomics next implicit cost is equals to sir if you remember there is a chapter called as theory of cost where we discussed multiple cost concepts we discussed accounting profit and we discussed economic profit sir how to calculate accounting profit and economic profit revenue minus outlay cost which is also called as explicit cost. What we are going to get? We are going to get accounting profit minus opportunity cost, which is also called as implicit cost. What we are going to get? Economic profit. So if you clearly observe accounting profit minus opportunity cost, which is also called as implicit cost, is called as economic profit. So, accounting profit minus implicit cost is equals to economic profit. But what is the question? The question is implicit cost is equals to. So, what I will do? I will send this implicit cost to that side. So, implicit cost is equals to accounting profit minus economic profit. Sir, accounting profit is also called as business profit. So, what is the correct answer? Business profit minus economic profit. So, what is the option? Option A. The key given was option D, but D is the wrong answer. And what is the correct answer? Option A. Okay. Sir, fourth one. If the demand curve for a firm's output is perfectly elastic, then the firm. Sir, in the chapter markets, there are four types of markets. Perfect competition, monopoly, monopolistic and oligopoly. So, in the case of perfect competition, what is elasticity? E is equals to infinity. In the case of monopoly, it is less than one. In the case of monopolistic, it is greater than one. And in the case of oligopoly, it is a tinker demand curve. That is greater than one as well as less than one. So here the question is talking about what perfectly elastic. So in which market is perfectly elastic? E is equals to infinity. In which market? PC market. Option B. Fifth one. Firms in an industry that produces a differentiated product. As I said you, there are four types of market. In the case of PC market, the goods are homogeneous. In the case of monopoly, there is only one product. In the case of monopolistic, the goods are differentiated. The goods are what? Differentiated. In the case of oligopoly also, the goods are differentiated. So in which market we can see the differentiated products? Either in the case of monopolistically competitive or in the case of oligopoly. So what is the answer? Option C.
the type of industry organization that is characterized by recognized interdependence and non price competition among the firm is called as sir if you remember what are the features of oligopoly there are three features or characteristics number 1 strategic interdependence number 2 non price competition that is importance of selling cost and advertisement cost number 3 what is number 3 group behavior so these three ca characteristics are the part of what oligopoly so interdependence where we can find interdependence in which market in oligopoly market option c next which of the following short run cost curve declines continuously sir in the case of short run average cost there are four types of cost afc avc atc and mc sir what is average fixed cost average fixed cost is equals to fixed cost divided by output in the numerator there is fixed cost and in the denominator there is output sir what is the meaning of a fixed cost fixed cost is a cost that does not change with change in output that means the output is changing what is changing the output is changing but uh, the cost will remain same that is called as fixed cost that means the numerator is constant but whatever the denominator the output will increase let us assume the rent for a classroom is 1 lakh rupees so rent is an example for fixed cost if there is only one student in the classroom what is the average fixed cost 1 lakh divided by 1 1 lakh if there are two students in the classroom then it will be 1 lakh divided by 2 50000 three students 1 lakh by 3 33333 so when there are more number of students average fixed cost what happens it will always decline average fixed cost never increases it always what decreases so then what about the other three all the other three are u shaped curves first it decreases then increases so here the question is which of the following cost curve declines continuously what is the answer average fixed cost the restaurant industry has a market structure that comes close to so restaurant industry there are few firms uh, there are many firms uh, so there are large number of sellers in the market so if there are large number of sellers in the market then what is the answer monopolistic competition the key they given was oligopoly which is wrong option a is the correct answer economic indicator of contraction and expansionary phase by measuring real gdp is sir where we discuss the con the concept of expansion phase and contraction phase in a chapter called as what business cycle so what is answer business cycle national income accountants can avoid multiple counting by what only counting the final goods that means we need to ignore the intermediary goods so option b what does article number 246 of the indian constitution deals with sir what article 246 is saying sir article 246 distribute the power between the central government and the state government that is the division of legislative power between the center and state sir what is the meaning of legislative power the power to prepare the law the power to prepare the law so what is the correct answer b excessive and unplanned public expenditure may lead to sir if the government spends unnecessary expenditures without any planning automatically it creates what it creates a burden on the people so that burden is called as what fiscal crisis option b next which of the following situations best demonstrates a market failure due to asymmetric information sir what is the meaning of asymmetric information any transaction involves two people the seller and the buyer if the seller is having more knowledge than the buyer that is called as asymmetric information or if the buyer is having more knowledge than the seller that is also called as what asymmetric information so in simple terms two parties seller and buyer if the seller is having more knowledge or the buyer is having more knowledge whichever the situation that is called as what asymmetric information in that case what happens the consumer will buy substandard products because they don't know 
the information about the quality so what is option option d which of the following is not a part of the money supply in a economy what are the options given currency held by central bank demand deposits saving accounts time deposits so first what is a money supply money supply means the money that is available with the public that means demand deposits saving deposits and time deposits the money that is with the central bank that is not called as money supply hence what is the answer currency held by central bank which of the following is not a typical tool of monetary policy used by central bank sir what is the difference between a monetary policy and a fiscal policy sir monetary policy means the decisions that are taken by rbi whereas fiscal policy means the decisions that are taken by government of india in india generally a decision relates to taxation direct taxes or indirect taxes taken by whom taken by the minister of finance that is government hence that comes under fiscal policy so what is option option c this is a fiscal policy that is not a monetary policy 15th one according to hechsher ahlin theory a country will have a comparative advantage in the production of goods so what is hechsher ahlin is saying sir if you are having any factors in sur surplus amount first utilize those factors. so utilize abundant factors of production that the country has in large supply so whatever the factors you are having in large capacity produce those things next in international trade in international trade negotiations which of the following is the most common objective for countries involved in multilateral trade talks option a to increase the tariff option b to reduce the barriers and promote free trade to restrict the foreign competition through quotas to enhance domestic subsidies for agriculture what is the main option here trade negotiations sir so why we are entering for trade negotiations to increase the barriers or to decrease the barriers to reduce the barriers which of the following is the primary objective of india's five years plan that's a direct question to promote balanced economic growth which of the following is the most important source of india's foreign exchange reserves sir in india we are mainly exporting what services option d the green revolution in india focuses primarily on food grains especially wheat and rice next thing according to the quantity theory of money if the money supply increases while the velocity of money and output remain constant the general price level will be so what is a quantity theory of money this concept was given by irving fisher mv is equals to pt and here what they are saying velocity and t are what constant then what are changing m is changing p is changing if m increases p also increases in the same proportion so option b which of the following would be an example of counter cyclical fiscal policy during a period of recession sir in the period of recession we need to take which policy we need to take expansionary policy what is the meaning of expansionary policy to increase the spending so how the spending will increase when we reduce the tax and increase the government expenditure option b so what is the next one sir if a country's currency is depreciating it means what sir what is the meaning of depreciation of currency i'll tell you one example 1 dollar equals to 90 rupees if 1 dollar becomes 100 rupees this is called as currency depreciation why sir this is called as currency depreciation because a foreign year example earlier he is giving us 1 dollar and we are paying 90 rupees that means if he gives us 1 dollar we are giving him 90 rupees worth of goods from india but now if the same foreign year gives us 1 dollar now we are giving more goods or less goods or now we are giving 100 rupees worth of goods that means we are giving more amount of the goods so our exports become costly or cheaper our exports become cheaper so 
the country's exports become cheaper for foreign buyers automatically it will boost what it will boost the trade next diminishing marginal utility in place is the this concept i think you read many 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 times what is dmu option a marginal utility of a good diminishes over time no when we consume the when we consume the good at the same time over and over then it will diminish but over the period of time no option a is wrong b total utility is negative sir in any given case whether tu can become negative no last unit of good consumed will contribute more to the consumer satisfaction more contribution less contribution less contribution but here they gave us what more and what is the last last option first unit of a good consumed will contribute most to the consumer satisfaction the first unit will be always having what more satisfaction and the last unit will be always having what less satisfaction so what is the correct option d which of the following is not an internal economy of scale sir what is the difference between internal economy and external economy any factors which are within the control of the organization is called as internal which are not within the control of the organization that is called as external so in the given case localization of industries is called as external if a firm's total revenue is not enough to make good even the dash it is better for firm to shut down so what is the answer sir check in the business there are two types of cost you need to recover one is called as variable cost the other thing is called as fixed cost now what they were saying fixed cost anyhow you need to incur but uh, because of you are selling one product what is the cost that you are incurring that is variable cost so first try to recover entire variable cost then focus on fixed cost sir so if you are not in a position to recover the variable cost then it is better to shut down so what is the answer total variable cost so we are done with all the 25 questions sir uh, as per my analysis of all these 25 questions these are very basic questions probably two or three questions there is a chance of difficulty but 99% of the cases the paper is probably easy so if icai is going to prepare paper on this basis then definitely you can score very good marks all the very best thank you for watching